Yo, 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 what's up, YouTube? It's Josh here again with American AM Dumpsters. Today is Friday morning, November, or December 4th. Um, I am on my way to the office. Um, today's plan is I've got two, both dumpsters, uh, dump trailers, or both trailers staged at the office um, full. I've got uh, hopefully a buyer for the uh, cargo trailer coming today to look at it. Um, and if I sell it, then I will be more than likely going today or tomorrow to pick up a uh, my second dump trailer. Um, so using the cash from the two that I sold to buy a second one, um, and then just having running two dump trailers for now until uh, I buy the third. So that's always uh, good news. Uh, hopefully he buys it, and uh, yeah, and he takes it and goes on to his merry little world. So. Um, that's the plan for today, so I'll be taking, uh, right now it's full though, so I do have to go take it to the dump, um, and I think I'm just going to do it by hand again. Uh, it's probably about three quarters full, but uh, a lot of uh, household stuff, um, so it doesn't look like it should take me more than 15-20 minutes at the most to dump it out, uh, versus paying for 50 plus dollars for the pullout, and then... Uh, not even sure it'll work because of the way the items are all stacked in there. They're kind of loose. So pullouts work the best when uh, when the trash is that's in the dumpster or the dump trailer or the, the trailer um, is like real compact. And like you know, like the ton of drywall that I pulled out that I showed in one of my earlier videos, or you know, that kind of trash where everything's compacted in there, kind of pushing each other down. Um, the pullout works great, but. For loose items, the chain falls over, the, the you know the pallet doesn't sit right, um, still leaves a ton of other stuff behind, so uh, I might as well just do it by hand. So more than likely uh, I'll be doing that and then bringing the trailer back and just waiting for that buyer to show up. Uh, I have the other dump trailer that's full as well. Uh, depending on what time he comes, I may or may not uh, take it to the dump and, and dump it as well. Um, I don't have anything for the weekend, which is a first for me. Um, no rentals yet. But uh, next week, I'm, I've got a four-dayer and a three-dayer. So I'll have both dumpsters. i got to buy one by next week. Um, so I have a four-day on Monday, I believe, and a three-day on Wednesday. So, uh, yeah, definitely got to buy a second dumpster there by next week. Um, other than that... Guys, uh, yeah, let me take you with me, with me to, to the dump today, and hopefully we can get in and out of there fairly quickly. So we'll see how long the line is on a Friday. Yo, what's up, YouTube? So there is the buyer for the trailer. That cargo trailer is gone. I did my last load by hand this morning to get it empty for the buyer. So thankfully that is gone, and I'll get another one of. Can you see it? One of those back there. So bye, see you later. Whew. Not too bad. Got it for more than what I, just as much as I sold it for, or bought it for. All right, so sorry. So I'm here at the Happy Trailer Sales in, I believe we're in Ferris, Texas, um, where they sell PJ trailers. So really like that gooseneck, but right now my truck, uh, I don't have a gooseneck and to order a part for gooseneck is probably gonna take a while is what I was told so I'm okay with the bumper pulls plus they're still about a thousand dollars cheaper here um, this PJ trailer what is it 16 foot three foot walls and I believe it's seven seven or eight feet wide it's a low a low pro uh, a trailer which means the deck height is uh, I don't know if you can see it there with the Sun well, the deck height is about 24 26 inches um, let's see what this says here so so it's got two Dexter axles um, it's got the 10 ply tires not like the other one with the cheap tires already um, it's got the extra power step right there uh, which comes in super handy I'm sure it's got a uh, 10,000 pound uh, jack drop like jack looks like 
one thing i do like about my us built is it uses that telescopic um hydraulic thing in the front um these use the scissor lift uh, my understanding is the scissor lifts i don't know i guess it's uh, a thing of preference but it seems like it would do a lot more work trying to push uh push back and up the trailer or the the can um then lifting it from something from the front i just think that lifting something from the front seems like uh you know i think that's how the actual rock trucks and the big dump trucks that's how they actually do it so this little design right here in my opinion is i don't know probably not the best but three-year warranty um on the frame one year on the, the trailer so 8600 bucks for this one right here so still thinking about it it comes with a tarp which could come in super handy i don't have one of on my other one on my us built one so it would be nice to have two different styles of trailers and just kind of compare them um you know start that way so seriously thinking about it sales guy kind of doesn't want to get up but we'll see so look guys a 2021 16 foot pj trailer power up power down which i kind of like the down but it does, it does use a battery a little more it does go a little faster than my um, U.S. built trailer going down. But going up, watch kind of how this looks. Let me see if you can see this here. See how it kind of rocks back and forth? I don't know if my trailer does that very much. It almost seems like it, not that it's struggling, but... I don't know it seems pretty heavy duty but again 8600 bucks there's literally a 16 foot four foot walls u.s built dump trailer in humble texas for 7200 dollars it comes with a spare tire this one does not i have to pay an extra 150 dollars for a spare tire here so 8600 bucks plus another 150 that's 8750 plus tax. You're looking, I'm going to be spending probably 9500 bucks um, over there. I'll probably spend under 8000 And I'll pay an extra 350 for a tarp. This one does come with a tarp. So in all fairness, uh, 150 foot tire here includes a tarp over there. I got a tire for free, but I got to pay 350 for a tarp. So... Um, I'll be honest with you, it seems like a better built uh, trailer. Just a little more heavier duty. I do like that the way this is um, cut out so it can drop into the frame. I kind of like that. Um, but for $1,500, that's, uh, that's a big price difference. So I think I might be driving three hours tomorrow to go pick up the US built four foot. That means I don't even have to um, add taller walls to this one like I will to that one like I would this one. So gives me more cubic yardage, uh, lets me charge my customers a little bit more for more more space. So, anyways, I'll continue to be continued. So one thing I do like about the PJ trailers is their D rings are on the side walls. Uh, versus on the floor. Um, yeah, weld line. I don't know about that weld line. But what I do like with the D-rings on the sidewalls is that they don't get caught up. Uh, if you had a piece of plywood that was dumped in the floor, um, almost always gets caught up or any drywall on the floor. Um, that's super annoying. But with the the you know the D-rings on the walls, uh, I think that's. Uh, a better design also the door the barn door comes with a um, hinge 
It's automatic. Well, that didn't work out too well. Plus, it just starts going down, I thought. There you go. So I just pop it until it drops in place, and that way your barn door is held up in place without having to put a uh, bracket like, like the US built. I just don't know if this is really worth the extra $1,500 for a dump trailer, a dumpster trailer. What do you guys think? U.S. built, $1,500 cheaper. I'm talking about a $9,000 trailer. $1,500 can buy you a lot. Today is uh, today is Saturday, December fifth. Saturday, December fifth. Um, yesterday, I went to Happy Trailer Sales in Fairs, Texas, and looked at their PJ trailers that they had. They had a uh, pretty nice uh, sixteen foot. I'm looking for at least sixteen feet um, dump trailer. Kind of showed you those. Um, and I, now I'm going to Humble, Texas, which is just outside of Houston. So about a three-hour drive because I can't seem to find anything anywhere else. They're pretty hard to find, it seems like. Um, the demand is always high. So anyways, down here in Humble, Texas, I found one that uh, is the same, same manufacturer that I have. Uh, it's a U.S. built, four-foot sides, uh, four-foot walls. 16 foot as well um, and it's fifteen hundred dollars cheaper it is it's fifteen hundred dollars cheaper than the PJ trailer so for six hours round trip of my time um, you know I'll take fifteen hundred dollars all day so uh, plus I don't have to put the extra sides in it or you know the taller sides in it um, all in all I think it's a win so I am just about 20, 30 minutes from there, um, and hopefully it all goes well. I will be driving uh, uh, my second dump trailer back home. So, anyways, guys, we will see you there, and I'll uh, hopefully give you a little walk around. Hopefully the sales guy is better than the uh, PJ trailer guy. He didn't even want to come outside and show me the trailer. I went inside and had to talk to him, and I told him I wanted to go outside and look at it a little bit more. Uh, and yeah, so uh, that I did, and then I just left. Didn't even bother coming to talk to me at all or try to sell me. Which I don't want a sleazy sales guy, but I do want somebody. I do want to feel like my business is um, value, right? So, anyways, just my personal opinion. So happy sales. If you watch this, uh, you probably could have talked me into it, but since there wasn't any kind of attempt to. Uh, here I am, driving a six-hour round trip to get a different one. So, anyways, anyways, that's about all I got for right now. When I get there, uh, hopefully I'll do a walk around of the trailer uh, and let you guys take a look at it before I uh, get it all muddied up and at the dump. So, see you guys in a little bit. Good morning, good morning, YouTube. Um, as you can see, I I brought my trailer, brought the trailer home. Uh, I didn't get to do a walk around with the sales guy. He was wearing a mask and social distancing and all that good stuff. So I figured, you know what, I'll just do a um, a video when I get back. So made it back last night. Um, I do have the trailer up, obviously, and uh, we're going to do a quick walk around and kind of show you what uh, some of its features. All right, so we're going to start in the front. Um, obviously, you've got a adjustable height um, tongue. Um, not much to say about that. Uh, it's removable, so I can easily um, remove it when I get to a customer's location, and I'll probably start doing that um, to kind of deter some theft there. Um, I did get these stickers in today, so check that thing out. I'll be putting these all over on the trailer. Um, so yeah, it's got a good heavy-duty tongue. This uh, jack stand is kind of weak, honestly, but I'm going to go with it. 
Uh, there was a there for this kind of heavier trailer. I saw another one that had a bigger arm, um, kind of like that. But we'll deal with that for now. Um, here's the storage box with the pump and the battery. And I noticed uh, obviously just today, day one that I bought it, that this hinge, this little hinge is already broken off. So I don't know if that was like a weld or something, probably like a little weld on there. Um, but I didn't do anything, I barely used it, so didn't even use it. It hasn't been dumped yet, so I just went to open it a minute ago to, to lift this thing up and, and it fell off. So uh, that'll be a warranty claim. Call them up and see if they'll send me another one or hopefully they'll make me drive an hour and a half to Madisonville. But here you go, here's your uh, hydraulic fluid, uh, your pump and your battery. Um, Here's your hand remote. Got a little plastic, dirty plastic bag on there, but um, you know, it is gravity down. Uh, motor it up. And it's got a little, uh, some little magnets back here so you can stick it to the, the side walls or wherever you want to stick it to. Um, so the US Builds and the PJ trailers and all those do come with a. Um, a battery tester so you can check the uh, check where your battery is at your level of battery right now it's at fair so I'm gonna be plugging mine in probably uh, tomorrow I'll leave it plugged in you just plug it in right here right and it'll charge your battery um, they say it charges when it's plugged into your truck but I think it only maintains it I don't really think it's gonna charge it unless you have it on there forever um, so uh, I think it's much better probably every week or every couple of weeks to just uh, pop it on the charger and and um, yeah, keep your battery levels high. So that's it for the storage. Um, I'll close this before I forget. Okay, so right here you do have a chain. Uh, when your 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 bed's down, you hook it up to that little hook right there. And that way, when you're driving down the street, for any reason, if your uh, your button starts uh, gets pressed or something, um, it won't it won't lift your your dump trailer up while you're driving down the street. So I think these are eight inch uh, tube framing. Uh, it's got all the electrical wiring. It's got uh, two seven thousand pounds. I don't believe these are Dexter. I believe these are just uh, no name brand, I guess. Uh, axles. Uh, 27,000. The PJ trailer did have the Dexter uh, axles. The same weight capacity. So this trailer weighs just over 4,000 pounds. 14,000 pound carrying capacity means I can, I can haul just under uh, 5 tons, just under 10,000 pounds. You're going to have here your 10-ply heavy-duty Trailer King tires, 8-lug. Um, um, pretty heavy-duty. I haven't had any issues yet on my other dump trailer. So um, not like the cargo trailer that I got a couple flats. All these doors, all these hinges all have the Zert uh, fittings so you can grease them up. Um, it comes standard with the stake pockets, right? Also comes standard with your D-rings on the floor. Uh, if you recall, I showed you guys how PJ Trailer does it with the, on the wall. I do kind of like that a little bit better. Um, it comes also with the ramps down there on the bottom. I have yet to even pull them out of my other trailer, but uh, I'll be locking them up. All the lights, I believe, have a lifetime warranty. So again, even your axles have the little um, cap so you can grease your axles. Then, uh, let's see here. Your springs. I don't see no Zert fittings over there. But it does come also standard with a tire, Each every, almost every other one. And they want to charge you an extra $100, $150 for a spare tire. Um, US built and PJ does, does come with that standard has this um, stand here so when you bring the dump bed down 
you can sit it on that uh, stand and that way um, you know there's less pressure on the hydraulic system and on the pumps so you can when you leave it for a long period of time you just leave it kind of at an angle sitting on that stand no pressure on the hydraulics, and that way water runs off and doesn't sit in your dump tray they're collecting uh, and making it rust. So, other than that, that's pretty much your your, your walk around of this PJ trailer, uh, or I'm sorry, of this US built trailer. Um, it is a 2 and 5 16 bolt uh, ball uh, that I use, but uh, yeah, this thing's sitting pretty, pretty high. So whatever's in there is definitely going to go for a ride down. Always got to remember, if you guys got one of these or any of these dump trailers, uh, definitely don't forget to uh, lock your door when you open it. You hook it on this little hinge right here. Um, so that way when you lift it up, uh, you don't bend your doors because uh, you will be bending your doors and, and have a nice little uh, repair bill. Let's go ahead and put it down. I am going to uh, be leaving here shortly. I'm going to be leaving it here. I don't have anything for the weekend. I do got to take my other um, my other dump over there tomorrow to the dump, and I have it booked for customers. So you'll see how the the gravity, um, you know, doesn't use a motor to come down, which is good. It doesn't use as much battery. Um, only issue is it does take a little bit longer than that PJ trailer that uh, uses the motor, but I'm okay waiting for 30 seconds here. Oh, so yeah, I forgot to take that pole out. So, let's go ahead and put that down. So remember, this one's the one I bought with four foot walls. Um, I'm loving how much room there is. Uh, it's uh, That one foot makes a huge difference. However, my concern is now that, you know, how people are gonna throw stuff over because this is, this is pretty high. So yeah, as you can see, I mean, I am, I'm definitely reaching just to, just to reach the top of this trailer. So it's, uh, it's definitely pretty high. Let me show you what the, um, the deck height looks like. So the deck height is definitely, you know, about thigh high. Uh, I'll measure that, but that looks like probably about 30 inches. So not not a real easy step up for a customer um, to get in here and throw all the trash out. But uh, that's I guess that's part of the deal, right? So anyways, guys, this is my complete walk around of our U.S. built. Uh, honestly, for me to buy a second one, I am pretty impressed with my first one. Um, I mean, again, they're pretty simple machines machines uh, to operate there's nothing much to it um you know it's heavy duty tires are good frame is good um i do want to get uh probably a bigger jack maybe a hydraulic one or something i don't know especially for this one it is uh it is a little heavier so um now you can see that this chain before you go leave somewhere you take the chain now you just use just hook it onto that little hook right there in case for any reason that uh, that button gets pressed and it engages the hydraulic pump, it doesn't go up on you while you're driving down the freeway. So there's that, guys. Uh, so yeah, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe this channel. Hit the little like button down below. Hit the little subscribe button. 
That way you guys can stay up to date with all our videos that we'll be posting out here soon. Uh, but uh, this is the video of our newly purchased US built. Paid 71, I believe 7150 plus tax and title. Came out to just under $8,000 uh, for a 16 foot, four foot walls, spare tires, stakes, uh, dump trailer. So uh, pretty good deal if you ask me. Uh, I paid less than the asking price for a PJ trailer and uh, included all my taxes and titles and registration and everything. So, um, and this is a, a foot taller than the PJ trailer. So, and the salespeople were a lot nicer. So there you go. Uh, I'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, hopefully you guys uh, get some value from this video. Uh, we'll be seeing you soon.